Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to do a video on Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. Um, this is from, I think it came out in 2021, um, released on physical media in 2022. Um, it's, wow, it doesn't seem that long ago that I watched it in the cinema actually. Um, and speaking of my cinema viewing, um, so I've watched it twice, once um, on Blu-ray and once in the uh, in the cinema. And the cinema viewing for the first time, like you know, it did get you know scathing critique when it when it came out. You know, people sort of just shunned it away completely. Other people thought, you know, yeah, it was good because it amalgamated. It's an amalgam of I think like the first and second game because it's based on the game series. Um, which, you know, some fans liked and some fans didn't because, you know, it got the the, the joyride experience of having, like, the excitement from the sequel um, whilst also having, like, the great horror from both games. Um, and, it you know, the way they did it, it wasn't messy in this film. Like, the way that they, you know, have to start with, like, the, the, the police precinct, the city being overrun, the, 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 the infect, like, the citizens slowly being infected and... Um, turn into these raving, you know, infected sort of uh, um, grotesque things. And then it sort of, you know, went into like, got the, uh, you know, the, the, the mansion involved, you know, you got like the, the crash, you've got, um, then it gets into like the, the underground system, gets into like, you know, the, the, the secret places that come with like a Resident Evil game. There's a lot of like traps and discovering secret places and like, working out puzzles and whatnot and then it goes to like the sort of I don't want to you know bigger boss type fight at the end so I liked how it got there it didn't do it in like such a messy way um I did enjoy it um but yeah so my cinema viewing was much better I didn't like it nearly as much on my blu-ray um watch at home um and mainly because of the CGI and special effects like I, I quite abhorred it um, and like rejected it at, on my home view and it's like it's really hard to watch um, the cinema made it all glamorous and you know blinded me because of like the big screen experience and the noises and the audio and how it looks on a big screen but like picking it apart at home on a second viewing no 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 not for me uh, I, and I'm quite I'm getting it's very te I'm getting quite you know I'm I'm past Marvel now um, and now I'm getting like to the point where like all films are doing it. You know these 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 superheroes are wearing CGI suits, and I know like anyway, yeah the the, the CGI in here it um it's it doesn't work. It's not for me. I don't like it. And not all of it. Um, not all of it. Some of it was good and 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 for the budget they needed to right. If that's how they felt that they needed to go about the filmmaking, who am I to judge? Um, I, I can't tell them a better way to do it. So that's the way they chose to do it with the budget they had. Um, I know many of the actors, um, I'm, I'm, I'm well, you know, I know the um, many of the actors in this film. I like um, their work. I like most of their work. Um, okay, let's go Dario and, and Co. So um, it's, it's nice seeing like fa familiar faces. And that's not to say, you know, you have to look past the fact that like if they were right for the roles um i'm sure that that would that's up for debate with a lot of people and a lot of people might have had like dream castings or whatnot but like, I, I liked what they did here um you know leon and whatnot so yeah um for, for the for the acting department okay yeah it wasn't the you know the most you know dramatic sort of like believable um roles at times um that they portrayed um but overall, the story was cool. The CGI, no, didn't like it. I like the dude, like the journalist, reporter dude, who gets locked in like a cell, um, you know, partway through the film. Um, his character was really enjoyable. Um, his like beginning and and his conclusion to his character was um, really good. Um, the whole truck with um, the brilliant, amazing song that is like scored the 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 scene when um, uh, the trucks like rolling down this um the main road in um raccoon city headed for the uh police precinct how dude with his headphones is just sort of nonchalant cool dude wasn't really prepared for being a police officer at all and especially wasn't 
prepared for being in the apocalypse situation. Um, yeah, so he's a bit too laxy daisy um, for a lot of people. Um, and I know it's like a little bit heightened, the fact that he would be so relaxed until it really hits him in the face. Um, yeah, uh, based on its critical reception and how much money, it, I can't remember how much money it made, but it doesn't look like this is going to get a sequel. It doesn't look like this is going anywhere. Um, who knows, someone might pick it up and like carry on or someone might want to redo these. A different production company might want to re redo these. Um, see, it's funny because like there's the... There's the infected that like helps the um the main um uh like protagonist. She was like you know an orphan with her brother growing up in the orphanage, and like so throughout her life she's like interacted with like this one infected being, who and it was really like sweet and nice and like a shake up from all of these apocalypse infect infected zombie films that we see where like they're all just bloodlust or all just out for brains. Um, there's like you know this 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 certain creature this character was like helpful and wasn't didn't have like a harmful bone in their body um and just wanted to help and it was like really sweet um in a really like not uncomfortable but just threw me I like, couldn't believe amongst all these infected and like we just we're just we're 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 trained to see these as like the enemy and just like cannon fodder they're just there to be destroyed and to there to be like these like relentless attackers and for this creature to be like this um helpful soft nurturing sort of creature in like a position of vulnerability whilst being this creature um i thought was really good um and like they didn't and they didn't like make it too heart-wrenching either which is like good and bad because if they did it would have taken away from like the excitement of the whole film um and like the pacing is pretty well paced like it doesn't really ever stumble um into like these slow moments and that particular wouldn't even call it slow moment that particular nurturing moment between the creature and um the main actor they they share a this bond that isn't like you know we didn't take half an hour to establish which is really good and then it's just finalized um which is like i really wanted to see more of the creature that's you know what i'm trying to get at but it, i i and but it, it worked that's you know um yeah so um I mean, ultimately, it's an okay film. Um, probably, will, probably will visit this in the future and hopefully like it a bit better. Um, or we'll see that Resident Evil gets another um, go at the franchise, and we'll see where that leads to. It's undecided what's going to happen with this, isn't it? Um, but I'm glad. I'm glad that someone gave it a crack, you know. Um, and it's not these big action-heavy like i don't know the scope of what the other franchise did with mila jovovich um i wanted i want resident evil to be like the games more horrifying and even this wasn't it was more horrifying but i want even scarier i want an actual horrifying resident evil film thank you very much